And now, to look at something a little bit different. Starship Simulator. Starship Simulator is a game in development by Fleet Yard Studios, with the aim of being a fully immersive starship simulator, in case you hadn't guessed by the game's name. It's currently being developed using the Unreal 5 engine and is available as a technical demo for free via Steam. And my god am I looking forward to this. Similar to Elite Dangerous, the playground you get is a one-to-one -one scale model of the Milky Way galaxy, but unlike Elite, you get to experience the full interior of your ship. Every button that's been created does something, even if it's not entirely obvious as to what it is at this stage, and Fleet Yard Studios boast that the ships have been designed in CAD as if they were real ships, including the internal wiring and pipework. One of the key features of this game is not just about exploring the galaxy, but also exploring your ship as well. As it stands, there's one design of ship available, which, considering the early state of the game, is hardly surprising, and it's clearly a work in progress too, with post-it notes adorning various panels to remind you of this fact. The Magellan class is primarily a deep space exploration vessel, but it's not entirely defenceless, armed with some sorts of weapons and defended with shields, at least according to the internal readouts. I think it's fair to say that the ship design has taken inspiration from other universes, the ship could happily perform some sort of track across the stars. This is most apparent on the bridge and in engineering in my opinion, but that's not a bad thing. Although it's fair to say, could you ever see Jean-Luc Picard signing off on enabling a disco lighting mode on the main bridge? I think not. So what can you do in the available tech demo? As it stands, not a huge amount. Ship navigation works, so you can get a feel of how things will get you about in the long run and you can take in some of the sights from within the galaxy. You can also explore the ship, although it's worth mentioning that aside from the bridge and main engineering, there's not a huge number of rooms that have been filled yet. You can venture into the captain's office and the XO's office, plus you can see that the lounge just off the command deck is being worked on, with a working piano, which is a nice touch. Don't think too much about the food storage solution at the moment though. The 5 second rule is clearly something that's been adopted and extended on board the ship. Obviously this isn't a finished product, so we can't judge the current state of internal fittings too harshly. If anything, the populated rooms are a good taster of what's to come. This isn't like Elite Dangerous Odyssey where it will go from public alpha to release in a couple of weeks. Expect this to be in development for some time to come. There are hints of what's to come though. Throughout Deck C, for example, you can see various signs on the corridors pointing in the direction of the empty rooms on board along with what they're going to be used for. So where is this project going? So from what I can tell, it'll be exploration focused to begin with. There are references on the website indicating that down the line you'll be able to make first contact with a range of alien species. So it's a pretty good assumption that you'll encounter both friendly and hostile aliens, otherwise there wouldn't be references to weapon systems on various engineering panels. At the moment, procedural generation is used to generate the galaxy, and soon it'll also be used to generate various objects that you can gather to adorn the walls of your ships, and it looks like there's also intentions to add procedurally generated missions from the species you encounter, plus derelict ships and stations to explore. All very exciting stuff. As it currently stands, to quote Palpatine to a young Anakin Skywalker in an entirely different franchise, we will watch your career with great interest. If it sounds like you'd be interested, give the tech demo a go from Steam. It's not fully featured by any means, but it gives a very good indication of what's ahead and it looks like it could be very, very promising. So that's a very quick and first look at Starship Simulator. Hope you enjoyed it. If so, like, comment, sub, you know the drill by now. If you're mainly here for the Elite Dangerous content, don't worry, I'm still working on that with a few ship reviews in the pipe, plus a few other things. So apart from that, I hope you all have an excellent day and take it easy. 07.